Hey, what's going on everybody? Big J Glees here, and you probably have noticed that I've been posting a lot more Mortal Kombat X content on the channel. Now there is a reason for this. I'm actually preparing and getting ready for a pretty big tournament that's going to be held in Pennsylvania in King of Prussia. Because of this fact, my play on Madden has been limited. But what I'm going to do for you today is post the entire formation breakdown for the Gun Bunch from the New England eBook. This will do two things. It will allow me to post a video that I've already created, allowing me to prepare myself for this tournament, and it will give you a glimpse into what's available in the eBook. If you haven't checked out the preview video for the eBook, you can do so down in the description below. After this tournament, I will be posting more Madden content, and I got something pretty special planned for the holidays, so be sure to check in and keep up to date with the videos that I'm posting, and I think you're going to enjoy it. All right, so let's take a look at this gun bunch set, and we're going to look at the buck sale first. And you notice that I'm running this against the cover four, and when I lead the B pattern up, it does get covered against the cover four. So if you read cover four, you have to throw it up and to the left. All right, and it will get open. You will be able to catch it. Against man coverage, this route just absolutely smokes it. It's not even close. So don't worry about man coverage. You will be able to smoke man. You also can hit the receiver on the left against man coverage as well and in any zone as long as you read it. So right here we're looking against the cover two and we are able to throw the B pattern again against the cover two as the flat pulls that flat defender down. So we're going to take a look at the bunch trail and both the trail pattern on the tight end and the drag are open against any defense in the game. It doesn't matter, you just have to make the read. The corner ball is a great read against man coverage as well as in between zones if someone chooses not to have a purple or a flat on that side of the field. And you can see right here that it does smoke man coverage pretty consistently. We're going to take a look at this again in slow motion. And as we look at it in slow motion, we notice that against man coverage, both the trail pattern and the drag also win. So this play really can absolutely torch man coverage and is a really effective play against almost any defense that your opponent's going to call. We can look against the cover two zone, and again, the trail pattern is open. We just have to make the read and be able to make the pass. Next, we're going to take a look at the screen, and we want to shift our line to the left and then just throw it to the halfback as he makes his way out toward the perimeter. Now, when we are on the short side of the field, we have to throw the ball a bit late. Also from the short side of the field, we have the quick throw to the tight end. It doesn't get covered in any type of zone in the game. Now, again, I want to emphasize throwing the ball late on the screen if we are on the left hash. And you can see right there, we're able to engage that flat defender. If we throw the ball too early, the flat defender actually comes down and makes a play on this. So we want to make sure that our linemen are in good position to make a block on that flat defender before we release the ball. So this is going to be key when running it to the short side of the field. The screen is actually more effective from the big side of the field that we do lose the quick pass with the tight end. But if the tight end is covered as well as our screen pattern, we can throw the ball away from the right hash as the quarterback will just launch it out of bounds over his head and we won't get a intentional grounding. Right here we're taking a look at the base and the base is very good. You can run it inside, you can run it outside. And a lot of times you have leverage with the trips receivers to the right. So a very good thing to keep in mind is that you may want to come out in the counter. And the counter isn't in the audibles, but we can run the counter pretty effectively against people that overplay the base. As you can see right here, we're able to run it very effectively against this type of defense. We also can run it against a regular standard defense, even though the numbers are even on the back side. The one thing that I do want to caution against is running it against blitz-happy players, as the counters in this year's game are very slow. So if someone were to blitz from depth, they're most likely going to come in and smack you in the backfield anytime you run a counter. And that's true not only in this formation, but every formation in the game. So that's it for the trips bunch. Next, we're going to check out the U trips with some really high powered offensive passing. So I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something. Again, you can check out more details in the preview video for the New England ebook down in the description below. So thanks for checking in. It's Big J Glee signing out and continue to game strong.